Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in this new series we are going to work on an FPS game. So we are going to create this first person shooter game from scratch using Unity 2020. Of course you could use other versions of Unity because there is no big differences. You could use the same logic in other game engines like Godot or Unreal Engine 4 because we are going to use the C Sharp code and build this from scratch. First, we are going to work on the FPS controller, so we'll be able to move using the AWSD keys. And also, we can look around using the mouse. After that, we are going to work on the uh, weapons, so we are going to create a gun script to handle the shooting, the reloading, and so on. So I can reload with the R key as well. And we'll be able to switch between different weapons like this sniper and this rifle so we are going to create a scope effect using a simple script so we can scope using the right mouse button and as a bonus I'm gonna add this robot so when I go close to it you see this text press F to write the robot so if I hit the F key I'm inside the robot it's actually another FPS controller with different animations so I want to add this video to show you that you could use the same scripts to make your own FPS controller with your own animations and so on. And all of these assets that is used in this game are free. Some of them are from the Ast store. And for the weapons, I downloaded them from the Dev Assets website. So I'm gonna add all of the links under the video description. So let's go ahead and kill this one. And there is another one inside here, but I can't go in here because this uh, FPS controller is bigger. So we need to exit out of it. We have this text, press E to exit. Let's hit the E key to exit out of it. And let's go ahead and kill this one. So if I shoot it, it's going to try to uh, follow us and then start attacking. Even if we go further. So we are going to use the nav mesh agent to work on the enemy AI behavior and so on. Also we have the uh, health bar on the top left corner. So let's kill this one. And uh, let's go ahead and kill this one as well. So because he's a little bit bigger so I'm gonna ride this robot again using the F key. And let's go ahead and kill this one. So if you are excited about making this game, make sure to hit the subscribe button and ring the notifications bell so that you don't miss any one of my uh, videos. Also, you can write uh, in the comment section down below other features that I can add so that we can add them along the way to this first person shooter game prototype. I'm gonna try to upload uh, two videos each week. So we can complete this series as fast as we can. So let's get started. First, let's go ahead and open up Unity Hub. So Unity Hub is the tool that is used to uh, create your projects and install other versions of Unity. As you can see, I'm using Unity 2020.2.2, but you could use a later version. So let's go under projects and let's create a new one using this new button. So let's give it a name. I'm going to call it FPS game. Then I'm going to put it under my desktop. And uh, here we can select it, uh, different templates. So we are going to make a 3D first person shooter game. You could use the 3D template. But I'm going to select it, the high definition render pipeline, which is the new render pipeline, to give you more uh, graphic options. So we can add other effects uh, and so on. But if you want to make the game on a mobile device, I suggest you to use the universal render pipeline. So these are the best templates for creating uh, your own games with high graphics. For me, I'm going to select the high definition render pipeline. We're going to work on a mobile device as well. So in the last video, I'm going to show you how to use the joystick and uh, the buttons to play the game on a mobile device as well. So let's go ahead and hit this create button to create the uh, complete project. I want to mention that this is not a beginner series. So if you are an absolute beginner, 
make sure to watch one of my other tutorials about the endless runner game or the helix jump game then uh, you can follow along with this series once everything is done probably you will get the default interface of unity with this example scene to show you the features of the high definition render pipeline so this template is a good starting point for projects aiming at high-end graphics so if you want to make the game for mobile make sure to select the universal render pipeline option anyway uh, when you hit play this example scene uh, comes with an FPS controller I can move but we are going to build it from scratch so, uh, so I'm gonna get rid of it I just want to show you the uh, feature of the um, high definition render pipeline so you see this high quality rendering so let's go ahead and delete all of the folders so I'm gonna hit Control A select all of these except the settings so this settings folder contains the uh, high definition render pipeline asset so let's delete the others then let's go ahead and create a scenes folder using right click create folder and let's call it scenes and let's start with an empty scene using right click create scene I'm gonna call it level then let's go ahead and open it up and don't save the previous one so now we have an empty uh, scene with a main camera and a directional light also I want to change the layout so I always use here one column so I'm gonna use one column then I'm gonna drag this project section over here and the console in the middle so that we can see the level here much better we have our assets on the left side and the console down here also we are going to use the animation window so I'm gonna use window animation and then animation and let's put it down here as well so that's pretty much it for this video in the next video we are going to uh, create a level using the pro builder package which is used to create levels like the one that I've shown you it's used to create levels for prototyping so uh, I hope you enjoyed this video if you have any question or comment make sure to write it under the comment section down below also make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the notifications bell so that you don't miss any one of my next videos and I will see you in the next one